Hi, I'm Annika Johnsons from Al Johnsons in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. to my friend Helen Anderson's house and sometimes people call her Helena or Helena depending on what kind of Swedish accent you use and she owns Flora uh, it is a little shop that she does a lot of weddings all the floral arrangements for weddings and all kinds of uh, other events that people want to hire her for. And I love how she does her designs because it's very, um, how do I say that with, it's not so meticulous. It's all nice and wild and natural looking and beautiful. So I really like how she does her designs. And uh, she has also a tiny little store. I think she still has a tiny little store. And you can buy little note cards or little um, odds and ends that she carries in there. It's been a little while since I've been there. But um, she works out of her home. And she has a really nice outbuilding where she has all her flowers and everything. How are you? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm here at Flora that. finally. Yes, it's Yay. great to see you. Yes, yeah. it's been a long time. Yes, oh my gosh, I haven't been here forever and it looks yeah. gorgeous. Oh, well, thank you. I don't remember this little pergola up here or anything and I love the stone bench. Oh, yes, that's my husband's handiwork. So Excellent. Yes. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so well, come on in. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, and oh my I God, was, the weather's perfect. And it's a perfect day for a fika. Oh, yes, let's fika. Yeah. I love it. Fika's and my favorite. And actually, with everything going on with COVID and everything, we try to be outside as much as possible. Oh, this is, this so is I thought awesome. we could sit outside. And if we sit outside, at least I... I feel like we probably cannot wear masks. Because I feel I think good it's about that safe. too. So. Yeah. Yeah. so come on in. I made some yeah. Swedish rolls. And we have hot coffee off. on the stove. And Excellent. Look yeah. at how beautiful this is. I love oh, it. Thank I'm, you. I'm a little jealous. It's okay. You're I making want, my place look bad. I, I'm, I've already said that I'm probably going to come out here and people will be sitting out here without me. So I'm okay with that. This is a feel-good yeah. space this winter. So I hope people will... I'm going to grab this Enjoy little pot it. of coffee. Yeah, there over you here. go. My and little I'm sweet. Do you see that's a Swedish one? I got it. In Sweden. Little Swedish pot of coffee. Yes. And I'm going to have a little. Well, help yourself. This is the kind of house this is. We're having here. fika. Yeah, you got to show your mug too. I thought that was perfect. And for I you. am having my fika <laughs> in a goat mug, of course. Very appropriate. Yes. So. Well, have a seat. Excellent. There's blankets, so don't. If you get cold, I'll oh, run and get Oh, she made more. homemade bulla. Yep. And what, for you people who don't know what bulla are, these are cinnamon, sometimes cardamom in them, with a little pearl sugar on top, and they are absolutely delicious. So if you ever get a chance to try bulla, or Swedish coffee rolls, you need to get yourself some, yeah. or bake some. Yeah, so. And Helen does make the best. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that, but yes. So, so yeah. typically when the two friends meet, like me and Helen, we have fika. Yep. And people always say, what is a fika? And I say, it's always a, like high tea in England. You have a little sweet treat with a little coffee or tea um, mm -hmm. after lunch, but before dinner. Right? Yes. Though you can actually have fika like late morning too, kind of that in-between time. 
You well, know. when it comes to coffee and anything tasty, I can fika all day. Yeah, fika <laughs> all the day. So, so we'll have a roll. Oh, here, I got some one. napkins over Thank here. Thank you. We're going kind of casual here, no plates or anything. but. So we're sitting outside here, and this is called Flora. And I was just admiring Helen's wall hanging here that she has. It says Flora. And... Helen, could you explain to everybody what flora is? Because I... Oh, um, yeah, I... Well, flora is... Um, uh, it's a floral studio is what I call it. Um, and I do... I've been here in this spot doing flowers for weddings and occasions for 15 years. I think it might even be 16 years, so... Yeah, and um, this is, I'm actually, this is um, my husband's uh, family farm. So we're fourth generation living here. How old is the farm? Actually, oh, well, I don't know if you can see it, but over there is the house. And that, we think, was uh, put up there uh, 1870s, something like that. So... And it's my, beautiful inside. I've been in it many yeah, times. I love it. Kind of, it's cozy. It's a work in progress always. But yeah, it's kind of cool because the log part of that house, they put together like a kit. Like it was a house um, put together out in Appleport. And then they marked the logs and moved it here. So we don't know if it was like even older and sitting in Appleport for a while, and then they took it apart and moved it. So. Gosh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, That's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So, well, yeah. Appleport people is, when you turn by the Sister Bay Bowl and you head towards Lake Michigan, uh, the road eventually just dead ends into Lake Michigan, and that whole little area out there is called Appleport. And actually, my brother Rolf lives out there. Well, that's why I thought you'd be interested yeah, in hearing about Yeah, so that's pretty good history. That, so. I think my dad used to come up here as a kid. And um, he used to live on 12th and Blue Island, south side in Chicago. So in the summertime, him and his sister were shipped up here a lot mm -hmm. to go stay in a farm out by North Bay, which mm -hmm. is out by Appleport. Mm -hmm. And I heard that that little log cabin that they stayed in was out there in Appleport area. It's yeah. no longer there anymore. Yeah. The whole thing is gone. Yeah. It's historically so it's kind gone. of a cool tie yeah. in. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and I remember um, Millie and Frank. Um, yeah, Frank and Mildred. I worked at L. Johnson's a long time ago. Yeah. yeah so, so Helen and I worked yep. together. Tell and them I, how you got here. Well, it was a very strange story and circumstance, but I was in California and with another um, a friend who, um, different reasons, but we decided in December to um, go and do something different. And um, she had um, the contact for your dad and she called and I think she cried a little bit on the phone and your dad, <laughs> <laughs> your dad said, oh, you come on over, she said. Uh, so we were in San Francisco, and we had just enough for a uh, one-way ticket, and uh, Rolf, your brother, came and picked us up. He was three hours late. We sat in a Imagine snowstorm. Imagine that. Rolf is late? Yeah. Really? He, yeah, we sat. It was a snowstorm, and we sat on our uh, suitcases playing cards at the Green Bay Austin uh, airport. <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. And didn't know what Wisconsin was and never heard of it. But anyway... So we got to, he took us to, uh, well, actually, he didn't even go to your parents' house. He took us to Husby's first. <laughs> Husby's is the tavern in Sister Bay that we always so, went to. Yeah. So, but your parents were super, super kind. And um, and I, then we were there and were a week or two weeks. Then you guys all left for a cruise. So we stayed at the house and watched the house. And Yeah. So that's kind of how that... Okay, all. so then you worked at Al's. Yes, I worked at Al's and other places. Um, and then uh, I met Mike, uh, my husband, pretty soon after I came. And, you know, after two, three years, uh, we got married. How'd um, you meet Mike? 
I probably met him at Twisby's too at some point there. Yeah. So, yeah. And her husband Mike is an incredible mason. Incredible. Yeah. He did all the stonework planter in front of Al Johnson's yep. restaurant. It's yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And uh, I mean, whenever we needed a good mason, we know that we would call yeah. Mike. Yeah. So. Yeah. And you know, it's fun because that's kind of was your mom's kind of project too she wanted these oh yeah my mom was, loves yeah. certain and people I, and and i will tell you mike always says i love In inger he said you know if she was a little younger she'd have to watch <laughs> out oh my <laughs> god <laughs> yeah because she's single Those now two. you better watch I out know. helen i know you better Those, watch out but they have a good report yeah. and then she likes to look up things on yeah you know his he finds family it. like oh i know this is your relatives your yeah and as quirky as she can be some people love it they just oh, get she, it he adores your mom totally. yeah yeah well that's awesome yeah. so she's been and then you guys had kids mm -hmm. we waited a little bit because we were back and forth we lived in sweden for a mm -hmm. while so and then kaisa worked at Els too yes yeah, she did she was yep your she daughter did. and um yeah, Mullen never worked there. She's, you know. That's okay. Being, well, as you know, you have to have the right personality to work yeah, with. Yeah, it's kind it's of one of those. It's not for everyone. Yeah, you know, Al's is one of those places that I always say is there's not a lot of managing of the place because it sort of has to run like a bike wheel. Mm -hmm. And as soon as one spoke breaks, it kind of yeah breaks down the whole system mm -hmm. so if you don't work hard with your co-workers it's not really the management that gets rid of you it's yeah. pretty much your co-workers yeah. can't work with you yeah so and, and maybe it's just not your thing yeah a lot of no. people don't want to run their butts off like that i mean you have to no. run and run and run and run all day long mm -hmm. so it's it's tough yeah it's hard I, work. I have to say i kind of i miss the running sometimes you know i could kind of think of it's like oh just go and just kind of I, yeah because I like, your job is so peaceful and mellow i and like that just, you just go in and just run and do stuff you don't really have to like think or whatever you like I, I like doing the hostessing and yeah i'm sort of more. like that too mm -hmm. i always call it it's mindless work but you mm -hmm. feel like you've um got a lot of exercise yeah. that yeah. day <laughs> yeah <laughs> or you it's feel like of, you've earned your keep Kind Definitely. Of yeah, when you've gone through a really busy day at Al's, I mean, and, you know, sure, you know, but for if things have... And that's why there's husbands, and that's yes. why there's husbands for after work. Yes. I do have a funny story, though, um, to tell with the last day I waitressed at Al's. I, no, wait, was I host? No, I was hostessing. Take that back. I was um, pregnant with my first... Kaisa and um, it it was one of those she's born May 19th and this must have been like May 18th or 17th um, I was on the floor very pregnant and we had one of those which can happen in the spring it was a beautiful day and the whole place filled up and I think there was like one waitress me hostessing <laughs> and you'll enjoy this because Al came in and uh, June came in. So it was me, very pregnant, Al Johnson and June who... Katursky. Yes, who was wonderful, but she was at, you know, definitely up there in age too. And she was more of the secretary yeah, at that point. Yeah. But we all handled the dining room and it was completely full and maybe one or two waitresses. And then Oh, I got home God. that and that night I, I we realized I had to go and and have a baby. So oh anyway, my gosh, that's so, crazy. I yeah. Know. Well, all that moving around made that yeah, baby want to come right have, out. You know. So yeah. <laughs> the baby's like, I'm out of here. I don't want to yeah, work like yeah, that. Yeah. No. Again. So yeah. Kaisa definitely was used to a lot of moving around. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah. That's so, so funny because I mean, working when you're pregnant too, uh, I feel like you can still run around yeah. you know oh i felt fine you yeah. know i just like i just had my yep. family tried to kick me out of there when i was pregnant mm -hmm. and i worked there till i was probably a week before i had bo mm -hmm. i was still waitressing mm -hmm. and it was kind of funny because 
um, people tip better when you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. And then maybe yeah. it was because I didn't have a wedding ring on my yeah. finger, too. Yeah. I don't know whether it was pity <laughs> or if it was just, um, wow, you know, she yeah. works hard for a pregnant yeah. lady. Yeah. And um, my family basically had to kick me out. Yeah. After, Say enough is enough. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I mean, if I, I mean, I couldn't sit. Mm -hmm. More moving around, yeah. the better for me yeah. when I was pregnant. So, yeah. yeah. And I think, too, um, well, I'm to, I heard you're doing more things kind of in the back now, right? And kind yeah, of we kind of went through all that with uh, Bill and John, and we went to my little shipping area, and I'm the shipper now. So yeah. I go upstairs and I do shipping with Kit Boots, is mm -hmm. our um, he's great. marketing guy, who yeah. I just love. Oh, and I love his whole family and everybody. Yeah, yeah such they're a good awesome. guy. Yeah. So I'm actually his boss, but I call him my boss because he tells me what to do. I don't it's tell him okay. what to do. Yeah. So he's always correcting me. I'm like, hey, boss. And he'll go, you're my boss. And I'm like, well, not really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but it's, it's a know. good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have plenty and, of bosses. And for those who doesn't, who don't know, you had a great little store at one point. I still have Quicksilver stuff. Isn't that from funny? Your, like, I'll dig it up and my kids <laughs> will wear it. Like, we have this fleece Quicksilver that... It's huge, and actually, my dad wore it a oh lot my God, when he was so here. Funny. And now my girls are wearing it. And actually, um, uh, Kaisa's boyfriend, who was here this summer, it's he's funny because you guys out. probably he fight over it. He was wearing it too, so it was like, oh my God, you can. You can wear it, respect it, but you're not leaving with it. Exactly. And you want to know something funny? Quicksilver was one of my first brands mm -hmm. that I ever carried. It's yeah. a surf brand. Yeah. Why would you carry a and surf tell brand in about the Midwest? The connection a little mm -hmm. bit. With well, Quicksilver. the connection was uh, there was a couple, Larry and Ann Spooner, mm -hmm. or Larry and Ann, yeah. and uh, Becky and Ann Spooner spent their summers up here in Door County and uh, their mother had a lot to do with the music festival. Mm -hmm. And I ended up meeting Anne, and Anne was married to Larry, and Larry had a big stock in Quicksilver, wow. and they live out in California, and they kept telling me you should carry Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. And being that we're around water, I kind of got it, but it's like a surf brand. Mm -hmm. We don't really surf here, but now mm -hmm. there's a lot of windsurfing and kiteboarding and things like yeah. that. So when I opened up the store there, I called it the Bay Club. It was like a little beach store in the Midwest. Yeah. Yeah, and I loved it. It was really small, really easy to buy for. And not a lot of people carried uh, swimsuits up here. No, I mean, you it was had hard to get a bathing stuff, suit or great a great casual sporty yeah, cute stuff cute dresses for guys too. I tried or... to find reasonable prices mm -hmm. so people wouldn't feel like um it was way too expensive. Mm -hmm. And it was funny because we would go on buying trips and I would meet with my Quicksilver rep, and I would meet in Chicago, and we'd go to a hotel, and we'd all be in the same room together, me and, like, four other people that own the stores. But they might be buying for, like, Macy's or mm -hmm. um, another store in Chicago, and he would hold up a jacket, and it would be four no's and one yes. <laughs> like, the wilder, the better, like, and for me. Was I mean, it, and it, it blew was, away our rep because he yeah. said, this is so odd to me that you buy all the crazy stuff and all the people in Chicago don't. Yeah. But when they come up for vacation and they go to your store, yeah, they buy the crazy stuff. It. Yeah. So that was kind of interesting to him because yeah. everybody tried to stick real simple with them. And I was yeah. like, the wilder, the better. Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.